What's up, YouTube? Welcome to The Fever Lifestyle. My name is Rachel, and this is my first YouTube video. I'm super excited to be starting this. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, but was holding myself back from. I recently made some pretty big changes in my life, so I decided, you know what? If I don't start it now, then I'm never going to know. So here we are. Um... I wanted to start this video with like a little get to know me, um, just some fun facts about me, and then get you guys caught up on like what's to come, hopefully with the YouTube channel, what you guys can expect from me, and what I hope to give you guys. I'm looking down because I have a notepad because I'm so nervous that this is going to be like choppy and like a mess, anxiety that's on anxiety <laughs> so i'm 24 um i just moved from new york to tennessee about two and a half three weeks ago with my husband ty and our dog <laughs> tucker he's a like lab great dane mix and he's my best friend he's too great but we moved down here we actually moved back in with Ty's parents so we can get settled here and then work towards buying a house. Um, it's been quite the adjustment, you know, making a move like this often brings a lot of questions from a lot of people, you know, like, what about work? Like, what about your job? What about school plans? Like, what about being so far away from your family? And like, it can be really intimidating and it can make you kind of like second guess doing moves like this like people can really get in your head and so it wasn't an easy decision for me to make my husband was sold like he was like let's go tomorrow and I was like pumping the brakes because it's so easy to get caught up in others expectations for yourself you know like my parents valued the very good job I left behind you know they liked knowing I was taken care of, you know, they liked knowing that financially I was stable, you know, no parent wants to see their kids struggle. Um, and I think my parents struggled with the idea that I was going to be so far away. And so it was really hard for me to stand up for myself and my own wants and needs. I think when you're like struggling, especially with like advocating for what you know is right, for me at least, it was like blurred by this fear of like letting people down and like not meeting expectations. And I realize now that I'm here and like we're getting settled that this is such a huge opportunity for us. Like I am so proud of my husband and I for like making this leap and just trusting our instincts. Um, it's a topic that I'll likely dive into more on this channel, you know, just like, like what thoughts were going through my head, what it took to like finally make the leap and do this. Um, and hopefully it'll like inspire somebody else to maybe make a move like this. So that's a huge part of my life right now. Um, let's see, a kind of silly one is something I can't live without, which has become lashes. I don't know if any of you guys get lash extensions, but they are like to die for. Like, they just brighten up your face. Like, I wake up like this. I hate myself for making that reference. But, like, it's amazing. Like, it's the best feeling not having to get up and, like, fight with a, like, eyelash curler and put on a ton of makeup. Like, it's exhausting. And then, like, it, like, flakes and it's not ideal. This is very convenient. And as you can tell... The thing I gave up so I could continue to do my lashes since we just moved across states was my nails and so this was like my first attempt 
at doing my own nails with just like typical nail polish. I actually ordered like a dip powder kit off of Amazon and that's gonna be next week's adventure is trying that out and trying to figure out how the heck to do my own nails. So, oh, excuse me. So uh, maybe I'll record that. Maybe that'll be a video for next week is an at home nail, either fail or solution. We will see. Um, I know I mentioned him earlier, but another thing about me is that I have a dog. His name's Tucker. We actually adopted him about nine months ago now. And we got him through Lucky Lab Rescue. I'll link them below. They were amazing. Like Tucker came from Oklahoma and in the feed for him, he had all like of his vet needs taken care of, microchipped, neutered if he wasn't neutered already and transported. So he came to us from Oklahoma and they drove him up to around the Albany area and then we drove to Albany and picked him up. So that was like an insane process. Like I will never forget when this dog got out of the car and he like leapt up into my arms and he just like was so excited to be out of that like transport trailer. And then we got him in the car and he licked up the side of my face and I was like, that's it. I'm sold. This is my dog forever. I'm committed. And that night we got him home. And if you've adopted, there's like this general rule, like three days, three weeks, three months before your dogs are like acclimated and comfortable with you. And the adoption coordinator, coordinator warned us, you know, like, given space he may not want a ton of love and affection he may be really confused so just be patient and so we were like expecting like okay like don't love on him let him into the house let him sniff around let him do his thing but just don't be all over him are you kidding me my husband got in the chair he like gets in his recliner and this dog jumps into his lap with a stuffed owl and curled up it was just like this is my home. You are my people. And it was amazing. It was the best feeling ever. So that was like a big moment for us taking on that dog. Everyone always jokes like, oh, this is practice for kids. And I'm like, kids are not happening for a while. I'm not ready for that. I'll take all the puppy practice. <laughs> um, another thing that's like a big part of me is my journey to body love this is like a little more serious than like lashes and my dog but i think it's important to have open conversations around and i'd really like to bring some of that to this channel as well um i think there's so many messages out there in society about like what women are supposed to look like and what's healthy and what's not and i think the reality of it is is what's healthy for you is what creates the happiest version of yourself like you can only be the best version of yourself you can't be the best version of someone else and so when we're constantly comparing ourselves to others to influencers and family members we're just setting ourselves up for failure because they're not us and our experience of this world is completely separate from theirs and so I'd really like to kind of bring some of that into this channel bring awareness to body love bring awareness to self-acceptance and connecting inward I think everyone can use a little bit more of that so that'll be something to come um I can't believe this is my first video. I don't wanna end up rambling, so I think this is gonna be a short first one, but I'm really excited for what's to come. I hope you stick around on this journey and like, subscribe, and stick around because hopefully this is gonna turn into something. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.